Okay, so the first thing is what we want to do is we want to integrate 2x plus 1 dot dx from 2 to 8. So once we integrate this, remember we take each power plus 1 and then divide it by that. This just becomes x added onto it. And instead of adding c onto it like we would on a normal day if it was an indefinite integral, we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to keep it like that from 2 until 8. The 2's cancel, leave me with x squared plus x from 2 until 8. Now we're going to substitute 8 in there first. We're going to get 8 squared plus 8. Then we're going to subtract 2 substituted in there. And here we're going to get 64 plus 8, which is 72. That's 4 plus 2, which is 6. And it comes to 66 units squared, which is going to be the area. But let's test this. Let's test the ability for this to make sense a little bit, okay? If I want to find the area of this curve, if I find the corresponding y value, 2 times 2 is 5, I mean 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. And if I continue like this, and I go 8 times 2, which will give you 16, 16 plus 1 will be 17 over there. All right, so I got 5 over here, and I got 17 over there, which means that if I used the principle of uh, just a normal triangle, base height divided by 2, and a normal rectangle, length times width, then technically I could break this up into two components and call this A and call this B. And let's see if I get to 66 as well, All right? Because that will prove that this is actually true. So 8 minus 2 is 6 in length, and this is going up to 5. So that's 30 units squared 6 times 5. This length of a year is 6 and that goes from 5 to 17, 12. 12 times 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3 times 12 which is 36 units squared. And so we can see that if we add it up our actual area is going to be 66 units squared which is perfect and now we've just proven that integration using definite integrals is actually true.